Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone who will will, and who has the 100% truth. This is for the whole family of Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations to make it look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then you see you go back to your father's side, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is he, how why he is, he exists. The name of his only begotten son is beloved son. It's Yahweh Shai. Yah is he, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days. And we are most definitely in the last of the last days. Okay. And look, uh, I was just strolling through Wikipedia. Okay. And uh, they have uh, history and a lot of things attached to this page. Okay. And let me go through. Let me scroll through here. Because this is just one of those quick lessons of informational and uh, prophecy. Okay. And as, and as you can see, have a lot of information. Picture of the day. You know, we got Digital Angel, Neuralink, America, Neurotechnology Company. See that? See that? Uh, random article. Remaxio, Administrative Post. Okay? You got random articles. And these things you can read and Get information on, okay? Album covers of Blue Note Records. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's a lot of information going on here in uh, Wikipedia and in this world today, okay? And based on that, based on, on, on that, uh, that goes right into uh, Daniel 12 and 4. That's how you know we are in the last of the last days. Okay, look at all this information. You don't know, you no longer have to walk into a library like I used to do, okay, and pull an index cards. You know, because back in the day I liked to read and I read a lot before, you know, my sight got bad, you know, eyesight, you know, but I read a lot. Okay, I stayed in the libraries, okay. In which they shut down most of them. But knowledge has increased. Matter of fact, let me get that right quick and uh matter of fact, let me go to this app here. See this is how you know you got uh, um, Bibles on the internet. Okay, because you can pull up but it's nothing better than a hard copy. Okay. So let me uh get this Bible right here. You know, I got some some scriptures over here. Okay, go to downloads. Now, see, this is uh, this right here are uh, uh, miracles in these days. Okay, and then you go to Bible topics. Okay, these these are miracles, and, and this is King James Bible. Okay, no. What scripture I want to go to? Daniel. Okay, this is the book of Daniel. Okay, 12 uh, chapter. And let's go down to verse 4, okay? Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge, knowledge has been increased. Knowledge has been increased. As you see. Okay. With that being said, let me go to save because I got some articles saved. Okay. First of all, uh, let me go to uh, what I got lined up under the Ten Commandments because what's happening is you have the school's that's getting, you know, that got, have gotten rid of the Ten Commandments, you know, and they should because uh, uh, they don't, uh, you know, you can't uphold those commandments. There's more than Ten Commandments, okay? 
You can't uphold them. They are hypocrites, as well as our uh, uh, two-thirds of our people. Okay, they say one thing and do another. Okay, you see what's going on in this world, okay? In this wicked kingdom. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You cover the faces of the judges there. If not where and who is he, okay? You know who he is, okay? He's the same one that done this, okay? That done this. The Georgia Guidestones, okay? They had Ten Commandments in here. They didn't say anything about these Ten Commandments, okay? Getting rid of 500 million people. They didn't say anything about that, okay? Let me, let me see if I can find it in here, okay? Because we're in the time of the information age, okay? Let me find that. Yeah, if I can. Ain't on the Georgia Guidestones history is that it got blown up. Okay, we know what that's about because they blew it up because that was just a message to the uh, people that follow the elite of this world, the rich and elite bacon families, okay? So like if it's not like I said, bacon, they will be banking, baking <laughs> by those thermonuclear missiles. But I meant to say bank, banking families, okay? In 2008, the stones were defaced with aerosol paint and graffiti with slogans such as death to the New World Order, okay? I'm just reading some things about this Georgia guy stones, okay? They go to the explosion on July the 6th, 2022, an explosive device was detonated at the site, destroying the Swahili Hindi language slab and causing significant damage to the capstone, Okay? Nearby residents reportedly heard and felt explosives at around 4 a.m. Okay, let me see if I can find that other information. Description, just the Georgia Guidestones. Description, a message con consisting of a set of 10 guidelines or principles was engraved on the Georgia Guidestones in eight different languages. One language on the, each face of the four large upright stones. Moving clockwise around the structure from due north, these languages were English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, traditional Chinese, and Russian. Notice it says Hebrew, okay? The language was chosen because they represent most of humanity, except for Hebrew, which was chosen because of it connections to Judaism and Christianity. You see how they've done that? You see how they done that, okay? That's another lesson, okay? According to the monument sponsors, the inscriptions are meant to guide humanity to conserve nature after a nuclear war, which the creators thought was an imminent threat, okay? The inscriptions dealt with four main themes, governance and the establishment of a world government Pop, you know, population and reduction control, the environment and humankind's relationship to nature and spirituality. Read that again. The inscription dealt with four main themes, governance and the establishment of a world government, population and reduction control, the environment and humankind's relationship to nature and spirituality. Okay, they, got, they go to inscription, okay. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Okay. So that, what that mean? What that mean? <laughs> guy representation, so like a guy re reproducing Wisely improving fitness and diversity, unite humanity with the living new language, rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just course. Let all nations rule internally, resolve external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties, prize, truth, Beauty, love, seeking harmony, 
with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. Okay? Well, these people are hypocrites. They jack up the world. Okay, now they're trying to destroy it. Destroy it and thinking they will have a new start, a new beginning in their NWO. This is their agenda, the wicked agenda. Okay, again, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He done this. He rules He rules his kingdom right now. It was given to him by Yahweh by some Yahweh side. Okay, on the left hand side. Okay. Because if you if you look at uh, uh, everything that's going on, this devil has poisoned this world, okay? With his chemicals, with his. Because of his greed, this devil has poisoned this world, okay? Let me just look at this. Let's take a look at this. Hexavalent chromium. This is a substance, okay? That this devil Esau, Richard E. Lee Bacon family, by his, do his greed, make a lot of products out of, okay? Shoes you wear on your feet, clothes, and, and various other products are made out of this, okay? Guess what? It causes cancer, okay? Hexavalent chromium, okay? Is any chemical compound that contains the element chrom chromium in the plus six oxidation state, thus Hexavalent. It has been identified as carcinogenic, which is of concern since approximately 136,000 tons, uh, which is 150,000 tons of hexavalent chromium were produced in 1985. Hexavalent chromium compounds can be carcinogenous, carcinogens. When our group one, especially if airborne and in hell, where they can cause what? Long cancer. Now, I read that, right? To give you an idea. I'm going to get to these scriptures in a second. To give you an idea, okay? Because these things are regulated in the EU, okay? Let me see if I can find that. Because they are regulated in the EU. Let's see. Let me scroll down. See, all of these things are connected. Okay, let's see. You know, I was even you know I was on a ship that was landing landing with a. Uh, Asbestos, okay? They took it off after a few years, you know, but still, the whole thing is we're living in a society that condones this type of this type of uh, poison. You know, they condones poison in its, its citizens, okay, for greed, okay? Attempts have been made to test the removal or reduction of hexavalent chromium from Aqueous solutions. Another study done by the American Industrial Hygiene Association indicates that the airborne hexavalent chromium in acidic mist of an electroplating tank collected on PVC filters, okay, was reduced over time after mist generation, okay. After mist generation, a number of other emerging technologies for removing chromium from water are also currently under research, including the use of cat cationic metal organic frameworks to selectively absorb chromium oxygenians. Okay? So, you, you know, you, you, you see what's going on. Man, but you jakes out here, love your oppressor. You jakes out here, you two-thirds you want them to be saved. That means you, you're sad as you're stupid. These things are, are messing these chemicals and these materials which they're using, you know, and adopting and changing their structure to create 
products that you wear, products that you eat out of, products that you, you know, that 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 you around every day and breathing in causes these this disease, okay? The disease of your body, okay? Chemistry of the ground, where it goes on and on and on, on and on and on. History of the EPA's chromium policies in the United States. Prior to 1970, the federal government had limited reach, had limited reach in monitoring and enforcing environmental regulations. Local governments, governments were tasked with environmental monitoring and regulations, such as the monitoring of heavy metals and wastewater. Okay, examples of this can be seen in larger municipalities, such as Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. Okay, why is that? Why is it? Okay, because that's in Jake's neighborhood, northern, your southern and your northern kingdom. And basically they're poisoning their own people as well. Okay. Water pollution. They got the Clean Water Act. That should be a no-brainer. But this is what's happening. This is what's happening. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get these, let me get this, uh, some scriptures. Okay, uh, let's see. Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly and will not uphold the majesty of the Most High Yahweh. And that's what you're seeing, okay? The earth was given over to him, okay? But he's not going to do right. He can't do right. Some possibly wasn't set up to do righteously, okay? He wasn't set up to do righteously. Okay, let me get this. Let me get this this Job nine twenty four right quick. So like it. It's not gonna be long. Let me get a couple of scriptures and sign out. Sign off. Okay. A couple of basic scriptures. Book of Job. Ninth chapter. Verse 24, okay. Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Now, where and who is he? Okay. Where and who is he? Who's ruling this place? Okay. You had a, a, a look on that, that dollar bill, that paper dollar bill. You got the pyramids. You got the obelisk. Okay. This is actually wrong 2.0. Okay. Order out of chaos. You got all of these things that signify on that that they signifies who's ruling on the back of that dollar bill. Okay, whose faces you see on Mount Rushmore that came over here and took the land from the Northern Kingdom by rape, rob, robbery, and murder. Okay, who is it? You ask. You tell me. But you just want to get them saved too. They were your people. Okay? You can't even save yourself. You're two thirds out there. But yet you advocate for your oppressor. Okay? Let's get, because uh, they're going to pay for this. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay for this. Let's get uh, my quick. Uh, Jeremiah. And there's nothing you can do, Jake, to, to try to forward this idea of yours, this insane idea of yours. Jeremiah 50. Okay. 
go to 30 verse 33 Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus said the Most High Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All that took them captive held them fast. They refused to let them go. And said, so, Jake, you out there, you got that uh, uh, plantation Christianity syndrome, that slave syndrome. Okay? That's what you have, Jake. Their redeemer is strong, 30, verse 34. Messiah, how of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet it and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. This, this place near this, this land, only way this land is going to be cleaned up is it has to be destroyed. And it's going to be, be that way by, via the thermonuclear missiles. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Joel 2, Joel 3, Jeremiah 50, 51, Isaiah, uh, uh, what, 34. These things are going to happen. Okay. Get this other scripture right quick. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Who is that? Neither see the Most High Yahweh. Who is the Holy One of Israel? Our Lord and Savior Yahweh shot. Okay. He's coming to do the Most High Yahweh's work. But he said not to do it. He's going to destroy this place. And, but you Jace out there, you want to rely on this, this uh, 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 queendom. Earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. Now, where and who is it? The Renaissance destroyed, he destroyed the images of the true People of the Lord. The true people of the Most High Yahweh by Shinawasha. By painting over their images. It's an apocrypha, the Maccabees. By painting over their images. Okay? He done this and became Judaized. Okay? Now he think he is, but he's not. Okay? And he's going to suffer for that. He, he got a lot to pay for it. He has, he has a lot to pay for. So like this. Psalm 75 and 8. For in the hand of the Messiah Yahweh, there's a cup. And the wine is red, it's full of mixture. And he poured it out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. It's the wicked. Again, he saw Edom. Okay, the rich and elite bacon families. He saw the father of the Edomites. Along with you, you two thirds, join up with him hand in hand. You're going to be destroyed with them, you heathen nations. Only once is going to be saved on the side. It's going to have salvation. It's the elect of Israel. Ultimately, all of Israel will be redeemed. Okay? You have to write this out. I'm one of those men that make it on the side. Isaiah 51 and 22. That's it. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, 
the Lord of thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand a cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning, to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Okay? The day is coming. It's coming. People have no no, no chance. You, you, you Hebrew Edomites. This is not for you. This is for the Hebrew Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? It's not even for you two-thirds. Zechariah 13, an acre, two parts will be cut off. Okay? Third part is going to be left there. Okay? They're going to be, be tried. Jacob's trouble is around the corner. We're in light, we in a lightweight, you know, it's forming itself. But it's going to get heavy in 2nd Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 16, okay? It could be a time like never before, as it says in Daniel 12 and 1, okay? Jacob's trouble. Let's get that right quick. Daniel 12 and 1. I'm, 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 I'm almost finished. Look at Daniel 12 and 1. And it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time they shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book of life. Only the elect will be saved on the side, the elect of Israel. Okay? You get that right quick. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Matthew 24 chapter is dealing with prophecies that happened in 70 AD. And some that haven't happened yet. And some, and some of them that's happening, that's getting ready to happen. Okay? And except those days be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect, say, those days shall be short. And as you see, things are speeding up. Ever since uh, Elder Apostle Tahar in 2024, January, when the first day came out with that lesson, okay, that year 2024 is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble coming to pass. So everything has been speeding up, okay? It's not here yet, but it's coming. You see the makings of it. You see the blueprints coming together. And it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Last scripture. Um, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Son of Man is Yahweh Shai, the judge, the jury and the executioner. Okay? So we have to watch 
continuously, redeeming the time. Okay? And with that, the water to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rukaku Dash will allow me to get this out. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rukaku Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who will. This is Brother Derafin and GMS Detroit Con with that. Shalom.